All right, it's about 10.30 a.m. on Friday the 14th. We are leaving McQueen's Gap Trailhead. We came from the other direction down the hill over there on the other side of the road yesterday, and we're still heading northbound, going this way from the Gap, going north. There's our white blaze. It's about 68 degrees, a little breeze up here. It feels good. We're 10 ish miles from Damascus, where we'll uh, tie in and link our footsteps with where we started in October. So it's a pretty exciting day for us um, to be able to get there. This was our goal when we started at Springer in March. So we were gonna try to knock this 470 mile stretch out and we've got 460 of it done. We gotta get this last 10. So this afternoon we will be there and we're pretty excited. So um, once we get that done, we're gonna go home for a few weeks to take care of some more things we got to do there. Got some uh, dental, doctors, um, birthdays, um, other couple of little things to do. And then we'll come back and we'll slide up to Daleville, 260 miles north of uh, Damascus on the trail to mile 730. And uh, we'll start uh, working on the 300 plus miles between there and Harper's Ferry. Once we get that done, we'll see what we're gonna do next and make a decision. But uh, anyway, we're off and heading north. Once again, beautiful day. Probably be a mostly wooded hike today again <clears throat> with uh, minimal views. I don't know. There might be a couple coming into Damascus where we'll be able to see maybe down into town. But uh, anyway, we're off and running. We'll check in later. <laughs> into our hike uh, from Queens Gap. We're at the Abington Shelter, Abington Spring Shelter, Abington Gap Shelter. I'm not sure which one, but it's, here we are, typical Tennessee, concrete block shelter, single story, probably room for maybe five or six. So, yep. Here we are, nice flat spots for camping around. I don't know where the water source is, probably down the hill. We don't need any though. miles an hour, a little more, even with a little stop there at the <coughs> Abington Gap Shelter. <coughs> Trails nice and easy. <coughs> Once we get about halfway through the hike, about five miles in, it'll be pretty much all downhill. Hadn't been a whole lot of uphill even yet, but we have climbed a few things like right now. I'm doing a little climb. Pretty gentle. Trail's in great condition. 
the only problem here and there, and I'm not complaining about it, but if you get these little, lots of vegetation on the sides, sometimes it can grow to the point it's kind of hanging in a trail, but not a big deal. As far as rocks and roots, it's been pretty smooth. So, these are the kind of places you can make good time on. <laughs> anyway, still in the green tunnel. All right, heading north to the Damascus town. Talk to y'all later. We will be crossing the three, three and a half miles, I think. We'll be crossing into Virginia from Tennessee so we can check Tennessee off. Complete. That'll be a milestone in a bit here. So we'll definitely show you that state line. Still got some nice mountain marble in it here. All right, talk to you later. Just came from that way. And then came down to this little gap here where there's a nice uh, camping area. Good log to sit on, so I'm gonna wait on them. We're doing about 2.7 miles an hour through here, so motoring on through it. Uh, it's about 12.20, so we're only about 5.8 miles from Damascus now. We've been about five miles too. We've covered five miles but from McQueen's Gap Road. So anyway, gonna take a break, wait on them, drink some water, maybe eat something and then we'll take off again. Talk to y'all later. Tennessee Virginia state line which means we have been through three of the 14 states half of one. and half of no. Virginia so here we've got Tennessee and here we've got Virginia so yay About a mile from Damascus, so we've almost got her done. It's about 2:30, quarter to three. I can't remember exactly, but we'll we'll be down there around three o'clock or so, I imagine. And uh, it'll be uh, we'll be at the arch, so it'll be pretty neat. We plan on walking around in Damascus some, and uh, Sparrow's daughter Leah's going to meet us and pick us up and eat and then she'll uh after we finish all of our doings in damascus we'll uh she'll take us back around to my truck at mcqueen's gap road so i'm starting to hear lawnmowers down in town cutting grass some of the sounds of some traffic so might get a little view here for long of Looking down at Damascus from the trail. I'm not sure if we'll be able to see anything with the foliage on the trees. 
but uh, yeah, I can see down through the trees there some houses, but just a glimpse. Um, so anyway, we are virtually on top of Damascus. Pretty exciting to uh, get this 470 miles from Springer to here knocked out. We feel pretty accomplished for a couple of old folks. Um, so I'll be showing you more of it as we go, but uh, we've been in Virginia for a couple miles now, so left Tennessee in the rearview mirror, North Carolina and Georgia, all in the rearview mirror. And we've got about half of Virginia done, so we get to move up and uh, hopefully in a, next time we come back to hike, we'll go ahead and finish up Virginia and be done with it and move on through West Virginia, the little piece that goes through and Maryland and then jump in Pennsylvania. So, all right, we'll check in in a bit. Yeah, back at the <clears throat> state line a few miles ago, a couple miles ago, uh, got there uh, with, I arrived there with a guy that was hiking in front of me, a younger, younger fella. And uh, his name was trail named Salmon, Salmon. Uh, but uh, he's uh, here at 470 miles and he started two weeks ago. So um, I did some math on that, that's 33-ish miles a day. So yeah, some people can, he's already hiked the PCT, so he's he's got some good experience with long distance hiking, but uh, he, uh, He's moving right along, so a lot of different people, slower, faster than us. Uh, but anyway, it's interesting to meet them, hear their stories, and uh, admire their accomplishments. So good luck to Simon on the rest of his journey. I probably, we may not see him yet, although we might run into him when we, uh, if we go and do a flip-flop, you know, we might see him again. But anyway, he's a, he's a fast mover. So, all right, we're just a few tenths away. So, I'll check in in a minute. All right, we're dropping in right here onto the street, off the trail, coming in. Got a fellow disc golfer over here. He's got his basket in the yard and it's uh, about five chain basket, so he's got to be a pretty good putter to make them. But uh, anyway, we're in Damascus. So this is how you drop into town right here on the street. And yeah, we got to follow the white blazes. They go this way. So we're on Water Street. And it's about quarter till, there's the arch right there. Quarter till uh, three, and we have gone around 11 miles, 10.8, something like that. So we made real good time again today. Really easy trail to walk today. A lot of level downhill, walking on a ridge, not too rocky, not too rooty, and. Uh, so this is where we started our hike back in October, right here at this arch. So we're fixing to link those footsteps up and go to, this will be mile seven, approximately 730, give or take some tenths of a mile. But here we is at the arch. Yay, we made it back to here anyway, back to here. About, about a third of the trail done. And uh, here we are, same place a few months later. Sparrow made it with us. So anyhow, we will probably take a couple more pictures here and then we'll look for some food. 
kind of cloudy. It feels like it might rain today, although it's not supposed to. But who knows? It might. 470 miles for you. Woohoo! Yep. So we're in the park where we started our hike seven months ago. First steps on the AT. I was 30 pounds heavier and in really bad shape. So happy to be lighter in weight and much healthier. So we are going to go by the ATC and then we're going to go um, get eat food. See you down the trail. Okay, we're going to walk in the ATC headquarters here at, at Damascus and Sparrow's going to get her Hopefully she's gonna get her her hiker badge tag. So we'll see.